Why, hello there, everybody. It is, in fact, your friendly neighborhood ghost exodus. And I have a treat for you. Uh, let me do a screen share real quick here. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to scan an IP range for discoverable hosts vulnerable to the Eternal Blue MS17010 Windows SMP Remote Code Execution Vulnerability using Metasploit Framework. Anyway, sorry, that was a word salad. I just, I lost all like the breath. Anyways, as a side note, you know, for those who want to research more about this vulnerability, you want to understand that the CVE classification is designated CVE-2017-0144. Okay, so with that being said, so this vulnerability is persistent in a wide variety of Windows operating systems, which handles the SMB or server message block server uh, version one, which allows computers uh, to basically file share and just like exchange, you know, files across a network. And how this works is the exploit uh, sends a specially crafted packet to a susceptible Windows computer and after triggering a, you know, basically a buffer overflow, then you can execute arbitrary code and essentially gain a reverse shell to the target system. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start. So you open up, uh, you want to type in sudo uh, msf console, that's Metasploit Framework console. <clears throat> and what you want to do is you want to search for the vulnerability. It's going to be a lot easier than typing in the actual uh, location itself, in my opinion. So basically, you search for it, and you want to select the first one by copying and pasting it. But before you paste it, use type in use, and then paste it, and then hit enter. <laughs> you want to look at your options. You always want to do this and just see what is required. Uh, our host, that's the remote host. You also want to make sure that your local host is set to your actual local host. So follow the syntax that I'm showing below. And I'm, I'm setting an, a, an IP range as an example to show how it actually can detect vulnerable systems in an IP range. So after setting the remote host to the IP range and, and setting the, the payload, you hit exploit and it will begin to scan each host in the IP range and return whether or not it is a live host, which if it's not, it will say that it's uh, unreachable and it will also say that it is not vulnerable. So pay attention to the readout as it's scanning each uh basically each device or or system on you know in that ip range also not vulnerable this host was unreachable basically it wasn't real here we go we have uh the target operating system is uh valid for os indicated by smb reply and it's uh starting a buffer dump and it says eternal blue overwrite uh, complete. So here the it, it is now uh, deploying this, this uh, remote code execution. It is good to go. And the session was, was thrown into the background. So what you type in is sessions. It is actually not case sensitive. Se sessions dot, dot dash I will actually show you uh, how many sessions were, were, were made and which ones are connected. And I only have one, so I did sessions dash I, uh, choosing number one. And here, as you can see, the remote code execution was successful, and I now have uh, access to C drive. Now, bear in mind, this is a virtual box. And so my first thing to do that I normally do is who am I? I want to see what user uh, I am you know, logged in as. I create my own user account. And now I'm basically just navigating the file system to see what, what is there. Now you see how seamless and easy, so easy it is for a, a, a threat actor. <laughs> for uh, an attacker to gain, you know, root access by use of a, you know, RCE through that reverse TCP shell. Um, now, just remember, you just 
start Metasploit, get it up and running. Um, use search MS17-010 space type colon exploit. Now, I know I called it a vulnerability earlier, but all you pretentious, insufferable know-it-alls will be like, it's not a vulnerability, it's an exploit. Yes, we know it's an exploit. That's why we typed type colon exploit enter. And then you want to make sure that your settings are correct. I tried this um, this exploit on another machine and it was improperly configured um, in the option section. Uh, and it had a, a an incorrect default IP cider. So just make sure that you're using the correct um, loc you know the correct IP address for your local host. Um, making sure that the payload is set and let it go. Um, also, remember this, this is very important. You know, hacking is not a crime. However, there are circumstances where, where hacking is not a victimless crime. So always remember that if you are hacking, to hack responsibly. And please don't use this knowledge to attack innocent people or companies or et cetera, et cetera. Always be in the right and do the right thing. Enjoy.